What's up, FOC crew? It's LaToya. And Chris. And we're back with another challenge video, challenge video. So tell them what we're going to be doing today. So today, we came up with a challenge. We're going to cook each other dinner. However, we're only able to use five ingredients and spend $10 or less. We, we, we are going to reveal what the ingredients are right here on camera. And then she has my ingredients. I take her ingredients. We each cook each other dinner. And then we'll see how it tastes. I already know that I'm gonna win, so y'all can go ahead and hit Team LT down below because all day I've never made anything nasty. You know, they say never say never, but I'm up for the challenge. I think I tried to trick her on this one. I got some tricky ingredients. We'll see how she does. Okay, well, here we go. You gonna go first? I'll review one and then you reveal one. Okay. Okay, so chicken broth is one of my first ingredients. I have chicken thighs as one of my ingredients. I have a pasture-raised ground beef. I have rice cauliflower. I have Thai coconut milk. I have rotel. I have pumpkin puree, 100%. I've got chili, no beans, because this is Texas. And then the last thing I have is some bunches of spinach. So he's gonna have to figure this out. And my last ingredient is roasted red potatoes. Okay, so we're, how we're gonna do this is we're gonna gradually cook. We're not gonna have you see the whole time span, but we're putting, uh, you know, putting it together gradually. Like we'll cook the ground beef and then we'll show you what it looks like. You won't be there the whole time to make it, you know, so you don't have to sit through all that. So we'll be back soon. going to be putting his Rotel tomatoes in a pot back here and I'm going to mix it with this cauliflower that he decided that he wanted me to cook with. And I'm going to take the pumpkin and the coconut milk and mix them together and try to make some kind of sauce. Okay guys, okay. so this is the blender. You probably can't see the full thing, but I'm dumping, I have his roasted potatoes in here, and I'm going to dump the chili in on top of it and make a chili potato puree. So I'm pretty much done. I'm just waiting for the hemp, for the patties to cook, and then I'll probably, and then I'll pretty much be done for the most part. So we'll see y'all in a bit. So this is the finished product. This is the one that's smoking looking like something is my plate. And then this plate, I guess he'll tell you what it is. What is it, babe? It's a hamburger with pumpkin coconut sauce on a bed of spinach. And mine, uh, if you can zoom back to mine, mine is actually a uh, Mexican inspired dish. I have a side of Mexican cauliflower and rice with a side of roasted potato chili puree to uh, be in place of beans. And I have roasted chicken to go with it. So we are gonna have you guys rate us off of creativity. Uh, which one looks more edible in terms of presentation? So creativity, presentation, and we'll be the ones that'll tell you about taste. You'll see our reaction and then you guys can make a decision on who you think had the better plate. Here we go, here we go. And this will be the first time we're tasting it, so our reaction will be genuine. I'm a little nervous, so we'll see. Here goes nothing, y'all. So the taste isn't horrible. You can't really taste the pumpkin, the coconut milk. 
or anything like that. The meat probably could have been seasoned a little bit more, but other than that, I mean, would I eat it again? No, but it definitely is edible. On the scale of one to 10, I would give him for taste, maybe a 6.5. I'll take that considering the ingredients I was working with. I can take a six and a half. That's not bad. Chicken's really good. Chicken's seasoned well. Surprisingly, potatoes and chili could pass as red, could pass as refried beans. Doesn't have the same taste, but it's not as edible. The cauliflower, eh, it's passable. Because you just mix it with Rotel. I don't know what else you put in there. But had I had I had these ingredients, what I would have done is I'd have taken the chili, smothered it with smothered it with the chicken, and then mixed the potatoes with the cauliflower. Well, my idea, because clearly he he went off in completely left field. My idea, I was hoping he was gonna make a soup. I gave him a whole thing of chicken broth. He had lots of spinach leaves where he could have ground the ground beef, mixed it all together with the pumpkin puree as well as the coconut milk, and it would have been a soup versus a hamburger with. But I don't know how that would have tasted as a soup. I don't know. That wasn't for me to figure out. That was your job, not mine. So now we're going to switch plates and we'll let each other try what we made. The hamburger definitely used a little more seasoning. So the chicken definitely is good. It's passable, right? The imitation refried beans could pass for something. It definitely doesn't taste bad. And the cauliflower inspired Spanish rice. It's kind of hard to make cauliflower <laughs> taste good, so we're not going to lie. But That's why I would have mixed it with the potatoes. Overall, it was a $10 meal. It's not bad. That was our budget. I spent roughly $7.50 on mine. Mine was $8. So what I would say is, I mean, if you guys like this video, um, definitely we'll do it again. We'll let you pick ingredients. Now, it still has to be on the $10 budget. If we can get this video to at least 10,000 likes, which I know is going to take time because we're new, but if we can get this video to 10,000 likes, we will do it again. But with ingredients you choose, and you can choose whoever you want. Please remember, you always want to be on Team LT because LT throws down. Yeah. If, yeah. She's a better cook than me, so I'll just leave it at that. Anyway, guys. <laughs> All right. Peace out. out.